hey, this is uh, Professor Dixinski, UNC Charlotte, and uh, just giving you a, a supplemental grasshopper tutorial. Um, the question was asked about, are there other ways to divide um, a surface uh, other than just kind of a regular division? Uh, and what I'm talking about is um, if you have a surface component, and we're going to reference a flat surface, and then you're going to um, you know, divide domain and you know, do an ISO trim the same pattern that we've seen. So this divides it up in a kind of a regular uh, way. You can change the UV coordinates, but you're really left with kind of a rectangular uh, shape with a regular distribution. You can vary you know, the width, you can vary the height, um, but you're not really getting the kind of distribution that we were talking about. Uh, when we looked at, let's say, the, um, we did like the graph mapper. Um, but it is actually possible to use the graph mapper to divide the surface up in a different way. And so that's what I want to uh, show you today. This is more advanced than things we've been looking at, but the question was asked, so I, I want to I show that method. Um, so I'm going to delete this divide domain. And instead of dividing the domain, so what this does is it takes the surface, the base domain of the surface, and it divides it among uh, a series of U shapes, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, a, a series of U segments and V segments. And so you get this domain range. So you look at it, it says zero to seven, and then the V is zero to three. And then along that zero to seven, it, it's three to six, six to 10, 10 to 13. So again, this is like zero to seven, three to six, I'll show this in here, light up, you know, six to 10. And so this is how it, it figures out how to cut the surface up. So what we need to do is give it um, an alternate set of domains so that it can cut the surface up into uh, different kinds of uh, pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this divide component and uh, I'm gonna turn off preview on this. Or disable it, I suppose, I don't know, just put it over here. <clears throat> Eventually we'll get back to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna feed it a domain, but we're gonna create that domain. So the first thing I wanna do is go into the, the math subset, look at the domain, and I want to get the um, domain squared components. And what this is going to allow me to do um, is actually take this surface and I can see now what the domain is. So it goes from zero to 78 and zero to 33. So it's 33 high, 78 across, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do with those, with those parameters is divide them up and uh, according to the um, graph mapper. So let's, let's drop two graph mappers this will be like our U map and our V map, okay? And then let's look at um, a number slider. And, uh, you know, we could do, um, <clears throat> let's change this to, let's say, 30 parameters. And you could do this with different numbers. Just for the sake of expediency, I'm going to go ahead and use the same, the same number. We're going to be using uh, the graph mapper to, like, divide them up. Um, so that doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to go ahead and <clears throat> disconnect these. Make a mistake here. Okay, so let's let's grab a range. So from zero to one by some number. Okay, and we could plug it into both, but I'm going to go ahead and just copy the range thing and then do this. Okay, so then turn my graph mappers on to let's say. Bezier and you know um, power curve we don't really need it for now okay so that's going to give us a range of numbers from from you know zero to one and uh, by 19 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a multiply component for each one of these and so this is going to be a and then B is going to be the the upper range so the U and the V. So that gives us um, from zero to 78 and it's divided by whatever uh, the graph mapper gives us. So if we, if we change this, it's gonna give us some different output. So this is gonna give us that. And then what we wanna do is put these back into um, a domain. And again, a domain is, is, a, is a range, you know, zero to 78, zero to 33. And uh, if you remember when we had our 
Actually, let's go ahead and put that in just so we can see it. So divide domain squared. You can see our, so we had these batches of things and they're kind of split up. So if you look at the V coordinate, it goes zero to three, three to six, six to 10. So that zero, three, six, 10, 13, 16, that's what we just created uh, by multiplying the graph. But instead of being regular, it's now irregular uh, according to this curve. Okay, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna create a domain now. So uh, we take, a, take that domain and we're gonna plug um, those back in. And so we've got um, start value uh, and an end value. And uh, so we're gonna plug in start values. And then in order to get the domain, we're gonna actually, we wanna do this pattern that's like the previous domain plus the current domain. So zero to three, and then the next one starts with three to six, and then use six to 10, okay? so. We're gonna do is take a list and we're gonna shift it. So we take the list and we're gonna shift it by one. So if I plug this in, my list starts off at zero, one, three, six. If I shift it, it's one, three, six. Okay, so I've shifted out that zero. And if I plug this in to domain, I get my zero to one, one to three, three to six. So that's actually a lot like what we were doing up here with divide, okay? So go ahead and copy this. plug in um, the structure, plug that. So I've got my U domain and my V domain, which are now, you know, which have been changed. And then um, I, can, I can take that and then let's do um, a domain squared component or domain squared. So now I'm gonna take these as U and V and that's gonna create a domain squared. So plug in the U, plug in the V, okay. And then I've got a domain. So let's go ahead and enable this and plug this in. And we've got this, this pattern. And so you can see that we definitely have uh, this kind of pattern in this dimension and got a pattern that's happening in this dimension. But what's happening is it's not actually getting filled in. Like that surface, if I turn this off, it's not filling in the entire surface, okay? So we've got some bugs that we have to look at. Um, if we look at this, we would expect, you know, 18 times 18, uh, you know, things. And what we actually end up with is something like 19 uh, values. So that's not enough. Um, so the first thing we want to do is actually we have to affect that data structure. So we're going to graft the um, either the V or the U domain. So just take and then right click and say graft. And what that's going to do is that combines these into these containers, right? So now you have 19 U containers and then you're going to, to apply these 19 values to those 19 containers, and then you end up getting 361. Okay, and that looks, if we turn off surface here, it looks pretty good. So I can change this parameter, and it, now I can adjust the, um, the UV. So I get different types of distribution. So that's that's pretty effective. But we got this orange box up here. This is not happy. So it says invalid because trimming UV, uh, V domain and U domain are singular. Um, what does that mean? If you look at these parameters, if you go down to the bottom of that list there, it says 33 to 33. That's actually not anything. Like you, that's actually, um, we have 19 values when we want 18. And that 19th value is actually invalid. So we need to, we need to get rid of the 19th value um, for both of these domains. That one's 78 to 78. <clears throat> that one's 33 to 33. So let's go ahead and disconnect these. And we're gonna do um, a call nth. So we're gonna remove uh, the last number in these. We're gonna pop off that last one. So um, a good way to find out what the last number is in something is to look at the length of the list. So if this list has 19 components, we get 19, we're gonna delete the 19th. So we plug the list in, start with 19, end with 18, okay? And we remove the 19th one. So just take that structure, copy paste it, plug that in for V, plug it in for U, wait, wait a minute, fix that, there. Okay, plug it in for V, plug it in for U, and subdivide surface is happy, and we have a parametric 
uh, surface that can be subdivided using a uh, graph editor. And again, if I go in with my area thing now, if I'm looking at it, <clears throat> the divisions of these points are going to be uh, different than they have been. So that's kind of interesting if the way that we've been doing <clears throat> things seems a little bit boring to you. Um, again, some graph types are not going <laughs> to be very successful. Uh, I guess I wanted a power curve. So I could do different things in the X and different things in the Y. So that's just going to create um, a different kind of pattern for me. Okay, so um, you can do that. And again, just to prove a point, um, if I was to create some kind of a some kind of another surface uh, that was curved, oh, I've actually got one. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so if I go through, and I'm going to so I have a surface. And I apply that to it. Same deal. I can go through and I can distribute the geometry according to an irregular surface. Okay. So that's one method. And I'm going to come through and I'm going to show um, another method. Um, I will probably um, post this definition as well. But uh, so again, our the key is that we we have to divide our own domain and then using a little bit of uh, logic like basically um, sort out those parameters uh, according to this curve multiply them by the domain of the surface and eventually we end up with a new set of subdomains which we then use to um, divide the surface okay i hope that uh answered the question uh if you have questions let me know i will uh, see you next